What's going on ladies and gentlemen, how you guys doing? Today we're going to be talking about two things on the channel. Um, the first thing, and they're both Halloween Horror Nights related. First thing is some tips and tricks for Halloween Horror Nights for you to enjoy yourself at the event. And I'm going to talk to you about my game plan at the event of what I usually like to do. Uh, I know the YouTubers have similar game plans, so without further ado, let's just get this video started. <laughs> Alright ladies and gentlemen, so first I want to give you a couple tips about going to the event at Halloween Horror Nights uh, for 2018. Now I did hear from um, uh, Josue from TLV, I think he was telling me that this year they're going to actually incorporate more drinking at the event, more bars and stuff like that, so that means HHN in Hollywood is no longer a dry event. However, with that being said, if you're going to go to HHN and you're going to drink, drink responsibly because you do not want to get kicked out of the park and uh, ruin your whole night. Um, and by that I mean like hitting some of the scare actors, getting in fights with other people, etc, etc. Depending on how violent you are when you become, when you drink um, and stuff like that. Uh, another tip uh, is to enjoy yourself and just be cool, keep your cool because um, at the end of the night you're all there, everyone's there to have fun, to get scared, to enjoy themselves and, and stuff like that. Um, a good tip if you're going to do general admission is take advantage of the early entry uh, that they offer up every night at the event which lets you hit the metro set mazes first which would be the first purge, poltergeist, and the whores of Blumhouse chapter 2. Uh, and John Murdy was also saying Stranger Things and Trick or Treat are going to be open for early entry this year. So very much if you have general admission I would take advantage of that. I think they open at like 5 or something like that which until the event opens at 7. So that's a couple of mazes you can hit before the actual event starts. I highly suggest you take advantage of this because maze wait times can be anywhere from 3 to 4 hours depending on the property. Um, another little tip I would uh, do is pack light, dress comfortably. Now, in the past, I've gone with people who have dressed in like Doc Martens, has brought sweaters and stuff, and it's been hot and there's a lot of walking. Wear walking shoes, wear nice comfortable clothes. Me, personally, I always wear shorts, some walking shoes, a nice uh, shirt, and if I have to, I will bring a jacket for later. And that also uh, comes to the point where bring, um, bring a backpack. Uh, fill it with water, make sure it's sealed, make sure b before you go in that it's not unsealed or they will not let you take it in and they will make you dump it right there which is a waste of water. Um, also if you go to Universal Studios a lot, bring your um, refillable cup because that's only I think a buck to refill and you get refills for like the entire night which is honestly worth it so I highly suggest that as well. Now we're going to move on to the game plan uh, segment of this video where I tell you what my game plan is for the event. Maybe you guys can follow it. If you guys want to try your own thing, you guys are more than welcome to. I'm just telling you what the easiest possible thing is. If you have general admission or whatever ticket you have, uh, this is what I suggest to do. So first and foremost, if you do have general admission, like I said, take advantage of that early entry. It's well worth it and you get to hit a couple mazes two hours before the actual event starts. With that being said, the game plan for this year, uh, with if you guys want to follow this, I highly suggest it. Um, if you do early entry, head down to the metro sets. Uh, don't hit Horse of Blumhouse nor the first perch. Those are going to be the first two people are going to always go after because they're the closest ones. I would suggest Poltergeist, then the first purge, then Horse of Blumhouse uh, in that order. And then you can make your way back up to the lower lot where you can hit Trick or Treat and Stranger Things. From there, you can go up to the main lot and hit the Terror Tram because it will be straight ahead right there. Then on your way out, hit Universal Monsters and Halloween for the return of Michael Myers. That is my game plan for this year and I think a lot of other YouTubers might have the same thing. I don't know, that's just what I've always found worked out in the past and I hope that it works for you guys. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. We are near 200 subscribers. so. Thank you for joining the Madhouse and being a knight. I really appreciate all your guys' support and constant uh, positive feedback. With that being said, guys, I'm going to bring the video to an end. I will see you guys at Halloween Horror Nights, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.